Why am I sorry to sit here? Five o'clock this morning. Yes, when they call me this morning, but um, when we get the news, she started to vomit. So, they call him brother and tell him brother, say, but him brother was at a party, so on the way going in, so the police stopped them by shanting. Uh, this got them, so then, so then after they beg the police and they tell the police, them, say, and then sister, then they go find him well sick. So when me reach over there, when me there here, then drop her off and come back to me. So when me over there now, me see, she start ball for her back. Mm -hmm. Anyway, no bed wasn't there, so she lie on the floor. And she start to lie down on the floor and they say, Ma say, you know how when me they go to. When me they go to. So, mm -hmm. about two to three hours. So, so when the um, my brother said to her, um, so she office, was on the naked floor? Yes. She was lying on the naked floor. Because she couldn't sit up in the chair. So, I called the doctor and I said, you know, she should lie down there and say, no bed, no bed, they at the same time. So, finally, when they get the bed, I mean, notice when they put her on the bed, she start to twist and turn, twist and turn. It's like she confused. Yeah. The doctor call her name and me tell the doctor, I say, see her here. And the doctor say, she can walk. And me tell the doctor, say, no, she cannot walk. She cannot walk. And the doctor will her and her car go in the room. But me notice when she go in the room, her foot can lift up. Mm -hmm. So when when she go in the room, the doctor put her on the bed and started to examine her. And then start to do the accessory now. Where them she start do, and car going out the room and they look for being and so on. Every 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 actually everything shut down. Just cause they couldn't find no being figure or anything, so the doctor mm -hmm. went have to stick her here and draw some blood from her. So on the way going to the um to do the X-ray, X-ray, we start to see she have seizure. And when we went into the room, we asked the man, say, what, how was that happened to her? And she didn't bring to man, say, a seizure in the house. So when, um, me see her sit down in the chair, and when she sit down in the chair, she kind of slide down, and her head rocked back up, and then no, his, his head start to go like this, and he to one and then drop down on his side. So, me, me call out and say oh, what happened to him and the man said I see just in there and call called the doctor so the doctor said um, they must bring him in by the time me bring her bring them bring him in the porter bring him in to where the doctor is so me see she lie down on the bed and some thoughts start to come at her mouth but first you know before them bring her in me see she, she taking a deep breath and it's like she she rolled over her eye two times. And we said, what happened to you? What happened to you? And she just said, look for me and I say anything. And then me said, she, 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 she goes, Phew. Phew. and then me see her mouth open wide. And so far start to come her mouth. So by the time now the doctor didn't rush and come in, or everybody come in, or, and they start to be an answer. He passed away. He pass away. The doctor come back home to me and say, there is nothing they could do. But he actually dead in my hand, Mr. He actually died in my hand. But you can see that she was wanted to say something to me. But to the birthday locker, she couldn't say anything. She, 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 she couldn't say anything at all. Mm, boy, I was talking to somebody um, today and they said to me that but when she was born, God knew how long she had on earth and the fact that you just told me that she you know she died in your hand you bring her into this world and she died in your hand that rough but it should be a little bit of comfort you were there for her all along well, all along yeah um our belly swell you know yeah you told yeah, me yes our belly swell yeah, i'll figure out that is the truth it's not the pain no it's just they, they, they say that 
she asked it too hard. And she wasn't here at the time. She yeah. was at her brother house. Yeah. They right. said he asked it too hard. And them go and buy the orange giver. Yeah. After when they buy the orange, she started to vomit. But it was three times. So then say and she said she not feel good. So by the time then forget the car the next brother now to come get the car to come to him. She vomit one time. So when he reached down here, uh, when she when he reached down here, me see that the place over the hospital was messed up. That was the last vomit when oh. she vomit. When she vomit. Mm. That was the last vomit. That's it. But I have figured out more or less that is the heart, you know. That's yeah. why I'm saying to myself, yeah. so why they said to do an X ray instead of ECG or something? They do an ECG. Oh, they do the ECG? Yes, they do the ECG. But the X ray was the last one. Oh, yes. oh they do they the do ECG. ECG. Oh. But when, when they have something that you put on your finger, and all of the finger they have it, and then you pick up the heart rate. As the oxygen, yes, oxygen monitor, yes, yeah, pick up the heart rate. Yes, they say that they can't find oxygen it. in yes, our body. Yes, oxygen low. Oh. Yes, the oxygen low. <sighs> I know Petra when Petra, I met her when she was 25 yeah. years yes. old. And from 25 years old until now, I met her July. I did the video July 19, I posted it July 20th 2022 and from that day until today all she has been trying to do on her mom is to get a surgery done on her kidney and why well, i just know that the government really need to look into the healthcare system in jamaica because it's really messed up um one of the times she wanted an mri to do an mri and she was having issues because she was very claustrophobic and they Two times they admitted her in the hospital in Kingston to do the MRI, and they didn't mm -hmm. do what they said they were supposed to. The picture said they said they were gonna put her either under, under anesthesia or give her a sleeping tablet, and she didn't. They, they didn't do any. And then didn't call her. And then didn't the doctor when we when we call back up up the up town. Oh yes, yes. What the, she she's referring to that yes. she didn't get a call. Yes. They told her after the last time when she went back and couldn't do the MRI that the doctor that saw her last was going to give her a call box to tell her when to come in so they can talk about the surgery. And she didn't get that call back and she was calling for probably three, three months. months. Yeah, and she had to go up there and make a different appointment, try to get an appointment so she can see another doctor. When she went, they say that doctor was, was there. gone. Yes. Was gone. Was <laughs> gone. So they all start over back the process instead of they use they continue with the, with the process they start it back over so she will have to do all over back the test every all test. The test yeah she will have to do that so keep it so and because i don't know that keep the, the length of the time but you know god know what he was doing because maybe if she had gone under the surgery yes. um i'm not saying that jamaica doctors aren't good because i know a lot of people who do surgery and come out good but who God knows what would have happened with her heart condition and everything so you know uh, God knows best mommy God knows best but I trust me I cried this morning so much my daughter one of the time my daughter said to me mommy you can't curl up in the bed all day you know, and then hubby say we have to go to Westmoreland today we have to go today so Mishan when 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 did they pick her in? Because she that she, she she was looking forward to me but she wanted to say something but because of the breath locking up, she could not say anything. Yes. And they start to see her eyes start to roll over. And she start to take blow sharp. She start to blow sharp. That's the time the doctor take up it serious. So when did all the doctors then come in the room now? You see one of the doctors came out and shaking head. Yes. And the other one come out with the doctor and say they want to speak to me. So when they say they want to speak to me, say what's the problem? I thought they was going to send a record town, you know. Yes. The lady that one lady was there who called the the um the plane, the the, the helicopter. Yes. Asked me, say what is her name? And I tell her that is Fetcher Wilson. Yes. And she went back in her office. 
Oh, so they were thinking of airlifting her to Kingston from Savlamar Hospital. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So she passed 5A. 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 Every time I remember the video when Petra said, when she said, um, she cries so much when I say, oh, you are here talking and um, tears is coming down my face and you're here talking so strong. That was the first time I met her. And she said, Mission, I cry so much tears that there's just no more tears because of the pain and everything that but she did. But after yesterday, you know, and I said, so if everything okay, and she said, yes, I said, I'm coming up there today, you know, and she said, yes, man, when you come because I, I make soup, he say like he say, he make soup, and give some to him, brother. Mm -hmm. And I said, that's lovely, man, and I said, me know if me was there, my plate would cheer, yes. and she said, yes. So in the night now, the, the 7 o'clock, they said that she said she want two orange to eat and then buy the orange. And after when the orange eat, she started to vomit. Mm. She started to vomit. Mm -mm. But I'm not saying that the doctor didn't try. They tried, but because of the, the, the system shut down, there is no vein because they always trying to took it from our foot bottom. No vein couldn't show. The, the thing made God no best. Yeah. You know, but she was so close to getting the surgery done finally and God said, you know what? It's better she come home to me. Yeah, so it was just her time. And she will be missed. I don't know if somehow her story will perhaps cause a little change in the healthcare system hopefully somebody in the healthcare system is watching the video and you know um there's just so many things wrong about the healthcare system in jamaica that needs to fix from me losing my niece due to neglect and so many others losing their family members due to neglect uh, it's, it's the healthcare system needs to fix but thanks to the doctors who tried their best at Savlamar Hospital um, and the others who tried. I too want to say thank you to all of the persons who have prayed with Petra because some people they didn't have financially they didn't have it to give her but they called her and they prayed with her gave her words of encouragement. A few persons told me that they we're in contact with Petra probably on a day-to-day -day basis or every other day and sometimes they didn't have the, the money but when they had they helped and so thanks to those persons as well thanks to everyone who contributed a lot of person contributed and helped Petra um Miss Claudette who sent the burial other persons who come and bring food and other things thank you guys um you guys helping might have somehow extended her time here so we're very grateful and the family still need your help as you can see now she has died there's you know funeral and all kind of stuff that has to happen now so whatever you can do to help i have in tears no more than mommy because mommy cried out her heart this morning when she called me she was crying so much and you know, it's really sad, but may her soul rest in peace. The doctors, they said that they're going to do a autopsy. Yeah, they're going to do a autopsy. See, because um, it's not... In the hospital, she really took down sick. She takes sick from the heart, so they asked to do a autopsy. That's what the police tell me this morning. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. <sighs> oh, we did have a date for the 26th of this month but however the case the doctor did say if we didn't make that 26 appointment we could make it for february which is the cardinal doctor which cardiologist yes, yes the heart then, doctor yes and don't know they would take it from there now and go ahead to do the surgery 
Right, because yeah, everybody would meet up yeah, and then... because they said they, that, that they was going to have the meeting on the first of February. Yeah, yeah. But you see... <sighs> There's a lady from BC, Canada. She's anonymous. When she saw a picture of video, she sent... Um, well, she sent the donation actually this morning. It picked up. And I said, look at that, because I know you have like a running around. I know you're gonna need a lot more help, but I know you have like a running around to do so. Yeah. Um, this this is from anonymous donor okay, from thank, Canada. Thank you very much. Thank you, and thanks to those who well, Petra, and thanks to all the viewers and everybody that associate themselves with Petra, and thanks to Sam Sam Zenzel to travel all the way. Thanks very much. Yes, and and a few persons say you they spoke with you. This, some of the donor they reach out to me and say they, they spoke with you because some would have had direct contact yes. with Petra from you know we first Daniel did the video. Yes. Yeah, she. I spoke to her. She was in so much tears. She said she can't eat or anything. I spoke with quite a few persons who really, really they they are hurt by Petra's sudden. Because <laughs> it's sudden, sudden death. I was just here, what, six days ago, five days? Yes. Five to six days ago, and to be here now <sighs> to tell everyone that she's passed away, has passed away, it's really, really, really rough. But um, we continue to pray for you. Yes. And just let us know how everything is like the arrangement yes. and everything yes so. as soon as we go by the hospital and then we tell them the instruction what to do or maybe anything can go until maybe after the the autopsy but in the meanwhile we have to go yeah line up because yes because what really happened when, when they do the, the autopsy there there is not a portion of time they are going to be her on the bridge yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what happened? Um, Petra was such a grateful person. I remember one night she, she said she was just, it was about 12 after 12 in the night, and she said she just there and she can't sleep, you know? And, you know, she was going through the motions that time too with her body and the sickness and everything. And she sent me a voice note to tell me thank you and how grateful she was. I'm going to search for the voice note and play so everybody can hear. Because she was really just such a grateful grateful person many times i come here to visit and she say and i give her donation and she want to give me back and, and i say no it's all right a lot of time she said look how far you travel from mission and i say no you know because i know the situation i i tell you and this morning you know she no sweat no not all you know mission yeah it, normally we wouldn't walk with one towel or so and not a thing no sweating no she always sweat yes she always sweat when yes. time they go down we have to carry two suit or three suit of clothes oh, oh she so, sweat a lot yes no sweating this morning no mm -hmm. sweating mm -hmm. yes so mission yeah i'm, I'm when me hold it holding head i'm missing it another side rock back me say lord i want this for me father but and then Miss R2 and drop her side and R2 put them stretch out in the wheelchair. Oh my god. So, oh, she so, never reached the X-ray room. So when she reached in the X-ray room, that's the time she she um she start the seizure have yes, the seizure. Have the seizure. Oh man. Because the, the, the um the gentleman who is doing the X-ray, that's the one tell me that he sees that she have it. Oh, okay. Yes. So they couldn't put her on the bed to do it, so they would put her to sit up. Yeah. But when, when she sit up now, they couldn't manage her, so they call the doctor and the doctor said they bring her back up. Okay, but yeah. did they tell you anything about the heart test? Like, did they say? No, the doctor didn't say anything about the heart test. Okay, okay. You <laughs> only, it's only when time she died, the doctor they tell me, say, is the heart give way? Oh, he said it's the heart. Yes, yeah, he say it's the heart give way. Oh, yes, it's the heart. Cause all, all what they was doing, it couldn't, it couldn't help the heart to, 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 to come back up. 
Oh. So the heart rate was very, very low. But she was on her medication. She had her medication. Yes, man. She took her medication. Right now, me have prescription when we go boom. The first of February. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Every morning she take her medication. Every morning. It was a lot of complaints she have done, and a lot yes. to deal with. Yes, at that. Age, you, yes, yes, uh, yes. You, you, you yes. only can see what she has feel, but you can't feel what yes, she has feel. Because so. when <sighs> me when me showed it, the, the the police them this morning, yeah. that what, what the doctor wrote on the paper. He said so much issue, so much issue. Yeah. All these they said that. Yeah, man, I, yeah. I remember. Yes. yes. But somebody look up in this station. Somebody look up in this and they tell me that a birth is birth. That is birth? Is uh, yes, a birth is birth. Oh. Yes. That is why she bought me. So, yes. But the autopsy mm -hmm. will tell us what yes. exactly yes. happened. Yes. But the autopsy will tell me if it's a heart or is a tumor. Mm. My God. No, no, no. Yes, I feel it and see. Oh God. I feel like fish out of water when I see you. And I can't do nothing. I feel, uh, feel like fish out of water, man. You have other children? Yes, I have. I have two more girls and two more boys. Okay. Oh boy. <sighs> you see, because I'm always focused on Petra, yes. you know, she has two brothers. And she talked about her sister, but I wasn't sure if it was yours or her father's ch no, um, children. No, it's, it's my daughter. So where yeah. your daughter them there? One live in Atlanta Island and one live in, in Oprah. So they are in contact with Petra? Yes, yes man. Okay. Yes, they speak to Petra. So they so the the know what they Yes call. man, because the one that have a land dialog came over there this morning. She was crying. Yep, yeah, well. When she here this morning, she, and she come over there and, and he stand at the bedside and he look at her. And when she look out, look on her, she burst out her cry. Mm -hmm. And same time, they, this is the fellow people come and she says she not staying. She not staying. They don't want to see when they pick him. Mm -hmm. So. You lost your mother and now you lost your daughter. You can't, can't imagine how you feel right now, but um, but even though we have to pray for you too. I know that my mother was in age, you know. Mm -hmm. So I know that actually, she all she had she do her time. Yeah, yeah, she do her time. But I tried a lot with Petra. Because she young. Yeah, because she young. She didn't have any kids, nothing. And she never have anybody else to depend on more than me. Yeah. Because me is the one who can available to follow her or go anywhere or something. And maybe if I would call on those, they would say they're busy or something. I would want she, she to get this appointment. So I always put in myself. Yes, I make sure you can go with her. I make sure so you can go with her and everything. Oh, boy. I really, really miss her. Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh. And then know she actually come died in me. Really, really was happy that you helped her so much along the way and was there for her all the time. Why? Oh, Why? You know, get no trouble, mission. You know, get no trouble with the having child growing up. Yes. I don't know where that pain, but that pain suddenly so come on and out. Because she has to lie down on the floor for about three hours before they could then get one bed. They put her. So during that three hours, they had done the ECG already? No, they didn't do anything. They didn't do any ECG when, when, when she was lying on the floor. And when they seen lying on the floor, and, and my brother go to the master to them, say, you can't find one bed, you know, she said, in, in, in unconscious and then something. Then, me see them go up in one bed. 
And then no after when they get the bed no that's the time here the doctor called Petra Wilson. For the ECG? Yes, for coming to him for the examining him. Because all the other time we have it. Because they, they, they pass urine and so on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh God, oh God, Petra. Mm-mm. But the, the hottest part in the night when we see See, see, when, 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 I don't know, but when something hit her, I'm seeing look up for me, and then when I see him taking the deep breath, like, and he woke him up like he wants to say something to me. Like he would not want to say something to me, I realize that I travel to the travel. Mm. Yeah. So you didn't know at that time mm. that she wasn't going to make it? Yes, because I see the public crowd come out more. I realize that something gone bad there too. Oh man. Yeah. I cry from, from me go over there until now I don't stop crying. All this morning. All this morning. I can't because I'm ready. So that's why I kind of use it. But every time I remember how oh, she looked for me this morning, tears come to me eyes. Mm-hmm. Cause she, me know that she always wanted to say something to me. Yes. Yes. I know that she did wanted to say something to me. He said, "How would this say happen? We feel like me and they go, they go burst and me ball out. Mm-hmm. And when me ball out, the nurse then put me on one seat. They sit down. When she have the seizure. Oh man." Because it just start to shake and then now I see the fraud start to come out of my mouth. When I see him taking the deep breath, the deep breath, and at the time I me, me, me realize I know I'm in the trouble. Oh, man. Oh, man. Petra, I remember that she lost her father like a month after I met her. Because what date you say you have on the paper? Um, it, with the father died on the um, 28th yes. of August 2022. And I met Petra July 19, 2022. No, it's 2024. You want something for drink? No, no, no. Okay, okay. See a picture here. Yeah. Really sad. Now I'm gonna play some clips from when I first met Petra and some clips from the last time we visited her here. You're a very strong young lady because you're here telling me the story and uh, I'm yet to see you shed a tear and my eyes full of water <laughs> listening to you. Um, yes. I tell you the truth, I have a time when I when cry when I just did a sick out. I don't have no tears in the back for cry right now. Mm-hmm. I have been through so much in and out of the hospital, crying myself to sleep at night. I, um, I just got used to it. Last time we went to KPH was, we went there on the 5th and we went, and we're going there on the 12th, which is... Friday. Friday. Friday, yeah. And, uh, so the last time we went there was to the anesthesia clinic. I want to say a big thank you to all the people that that help and all the viewers that that help the doctor. Also thanks to Shab. Thank you very very much to travel from all the way. <laughs> yes. You're welcome, always, because I I know the need. Yes, man. Yes. Yes, it is. It is. Very, very expensive. Thank you guys again for supporting the program. Again, I want to say thank you to the donors who have donated to Petra. She's been on the program for a while, and persons have been donated from ever since she's on the program. So I have to say thanks. Some donate food sometime. You even have one donated a barrel. You know, different, different things. So we have to say thank you to them. 
and also the viewers, the supporters and the ones who watch the video and share it to allow others to see her story and so we can garner more support. Again, thank you guys so, so much for watching and thanks for making it Shan Zen Zen Jamaican Vibes. Thank you guys. Until next time, walk good and look out for your neighbor. Alright, you're welcome.